their kids sailing to the new land to find a living. Once they settled in, they bought slaves. Only two years after they came to America, their father was called to war. Not long after, the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments were passed. Now all slaves are free. But now the family has no one to help them. Slaves and criminals are now allowed to vote. Slavery was finally outlawed, but that didn't stop the people who supported it. They did everything in their power to not welcome in the former slaves. Some methods they used was poll tax and the grandfather clause. Poll tax, a portion tax amount you have to pay if you wanted to vote. Almost all slaves had no money, so black people couldn't vote. Non-abolitionists went back to the old laws, one of which was called the Grandfather Clause. This stated that if your grandfather voted in the last election, you could vote in the next one. Because blacks' grandfathers couldn't vote, neither could they. Many pro-slavery people went against the 15th Amendment, which states that you cannot deny a citizen's right to vote based on race, color, or previous condition of servitude. Will black people ever be welcomed in? This book is being released on May 5th, 2012 at your local bookstore.